It's Saturday morning here in Chiang Mai. Got up especially early for a guy's trip this morning and leaving Terry behind. Uh, me and a couple of my friends were actually going to go on the Sangmong Loop, which actually circles Doi Su Tep. There's lots of cool things, like such as caves, waterfalls, a lot of different viewpoints. I'm actually going to try and go swimming too. So it should be a fun trip. Good guy's trip too. We're actually right here going to rent motorcycles, uh, get some high CC bikes, and uh, go for the ride. Uh, so I'll have the camera rolling. I got my drone with me. Hopefully get some aerial footage too. And so we'll keep the camera rolling. We'll catch you there. First leg of the Samong Loop, is that how you say it? Samong. Samong Loop. Uh, GoPro kind of fell off halfway through the ride, so I grabbed it, didn't hit the ground, so we're good to go. I'll, I'll strap it on so we'll get some more footage of the of us riding our motorcycles. Uh, but we're here at Zombie Cafe. Uh, Josh can tell us a little more about it. Yeah, this is a big Dan's choice here. He uh, he saw the name and he knew. He knew this is where we had to go. It's got good yes, breakfast and you can sit go. in the crick if you want. There's the crick. So we're gonna head in right now, so uh, get some food. to Mesaw Waterfall. It's our second stop here on the loop. Um, this is pretty cool. It's got 10 tiers. We're currently on tier six, uh, but it's really cool looking. A lot of great views. Uh, the waterfall is absolutely stunning. But on our way up, we're having to watch for spider webs. We've seen a lot of big spiders. So we're ducking our heads. We're watching our feet. Uh, there's been some signs for snakes. So we're being extra careful. Uh, but this is really neat, really cool. This is so far the scene that I see right now. And we're at six and we're gonna try and go all the way up to 10. Uh, but this is just really neat. Uh, so we're going to go to the top. Uh, we'll catch you when we're there. To the top tier, number 10, Land They. I'm sweating profusely, it's got hot. You're sweating pretty bad, Daniel. No way. But it's quite the trek up. A lot of steps, so if you do come, prepare to walk. Um, but really kind of very scenic. Uh, great to kind of just uh, get outdoors. Kind of a great, great jungle hike, actually. And so overall, this is a great trip. Uh, we definitely recommend uh, stopping here on uh, if you're taking the loop. Uh, Mesa Waterfall, really, 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 really cool. So we'll catch you at our next stop. All right, this is our third stop on the loop, uh, Panviman, Panviman Resort. Uh, you're probably wondering, do we have reservations to stay at this really nice hotel? But we do not. Uh, we have a little secret. If you come to this resort and just eat lunch, they let you swim in the pool. And I can give you a little glimpse of what the pool looks like. And that's just the top of it. So uh, we're gonna have some lunch, put our swimsuits on, and go for a little swim. Uh, definitely recommend this stop if you're going on the loop. Uh, I don't think a lot of people know about it, uh, but eat lunch here at the Panby Man Resort and get to swim in the pool. So we're gonna do that. So we'll catch you in there.
this is a must stop Hanby Man Resort. Sipping on a uh, pina colada, coconut shake. We also got some food down there. All so we could swim in this guy right here. Uh, definitely a must stop. Uh, like I said, I don't think too many people know about this, but you can come up here, get some lunch, and go swimming, just enjoy it. Uh, the resort is really nice. You can actually stay here as a hotel. I think it's like 5,000 baht a night. Uh, so you're actually getting a deal just coming here and swimming. But it's also maybe a good place to come out here and stay for a getaway weekend, maybe with the wife or uh, with some friends. But this is our, our stop here, and then we're going to get back on the road and go to our next one. So we'll catch you there. <laughs> Mesop Cave, uh, another stop here on our loop. This is really kind of cool. It's a little eerie. I'm not too big of a fan of dark enclosed spaces, but we're going to go in, check it out. It's supposed to be one of the good places to check along the loop here. Um, so we'll catch you in there. We have a headlamp, so hopefully you can see stuff. So we'll see. If you can see me but there are bats in here as well so this is to be kind of cool but kind of scary so here we go here goes nothing All right, we've made it to our last stop on the Samung Loop. Um, we're here at a restaurant about probably 25 minutes, 30 minutes outside of Chiang Mai. Uh, behind me, you can see the back of Doi Su Tep. On the other side is the city of Chiang Mai. Uh, but we've got some good food here, uh, good prices. The rice patties are behind us. Uh, this is a really nice place to stop uh, right before we head into town. So this is the last part of the loop. We had a lot of fun today, a lot of fun riding our bikes. The nature and the weather actually turned out to be really, really great. We definitely recommend that if you're going to rent a bike, you get a bike that's 150 cc or larger because you do go up and down a few mountains and it really helps with the extra power. You probably could do it with a scooter of 125 cc, uh, but that's just our recommendation. But overall, there's numerous things you can do. We didn't get to go to the garden, but there are numerous things to do on this loop. So it's definitely something, uh, a good day trip that you can do here in Chiang Mai. For now, we're going to head back, turn our bikes in. Uh, but just remember to subscribe uh, to this uh, channel, like this video, uh, and uh, we'll catch you on the next vlog coming up.